Hi everyone, Al the Psych here. I have a quick video for you today uh, for informational purposes only that I've entitled The Art of Simple Living. Actually, this is the name of the book. And it's 100 Daily Practices from a Japanese Zen Monk for a Lifetime of Calm and Joy uh, from Masuno 2009. And what I've decided to do is uh, I'm just going to take some of the gems that I like. I'm not going to present 100 of these practices, but uh, a few, and I'll do this in two parts. And, um, you know, if you want to get the book and read it, it's a real easy read, okay? But I'll, I'll kind of try and combine his um, practices with um, different uh, philosophies and psychologies and lifestyles, things like that. So, here we go. Try not to be swayed by the value of Others live an infinitely simple life, uh, and maybe this is related to the grass is greener on the other side, you know, getting caught up in what others have, so trying to avoid that. Uh, make time for not thinking about anything. So here, the author touches upon what many of us get caught up in, you know, rushing and doing things and not stopping to smell the roses. I think we've all heard that uh, expression. A regular and orderly lifestyle exerts a positive influence. And now you can just go ahead and read about Marcus Aurelius, you know, the, the Roman emperor and, and Stoic, and he was very orderly, you know, incorporated a regular order, orderly type of uh, lifestyle. Um, so that makes sense to me. Uh, disorder in your mind shows up in your feet. Okay, now I'm not sure what he meant by this one. So the author said, uh, when you get home, take off your shoes and line them up neatly. And we know that taking just a few seconds here and there can cultivate habits which lead to an organized and less messy lifestyle. And I've done different um, videos on hoarding. And so it's like uh, hoarders, you know, hoarders are trying to overcome, that are trying to overcome hoarding, uh, like keeping unnecessary mail and, cat and catalogs, for instance, uh, benefit. They benefit from tossing the items while there's just a few items instead of letting the items accumulate. So if you've done your, your purge, don't fall into the trap of letting, you know, items accumulate to a large amount. Just stay on top of it when you start seeing a tiny little pile, you know, out the door. Um, Part with old things before acquiring new ones is the same thing here. Uh, if you have a, a tendency to hoard before you buy something, uh, see if you already have the item. See if you really need it. You know, this is a strategy that therapists working with hoarders use. You know, it's stop, see if I already have the item. Ask myself, do I really need it? Okay. Um, your desk is a mirror that reflects your inner mind. A similar theme here. So straighten up your desk before you leave uh, work. And this will help you feel more clear-headed. And when you, when you come back to work, it's easier to get started. And you know, and you can obviously expand this to other scenarios. Now, the author mentions that there's a difference between simplicity and frugality. So he states that simplicity is about stripping away what is not useful, uh, determine if something is um, truly necessary, and if it is, take good care of it. Frugality is about subsisting with things of low value. Now, in my mind, value is at least to some degree in the eyes of the beholder. So the item need not be expensive uh, in terms of dollars to be valuable. Now, an interesting point from the author. He mentions that the area, the area between your big toe and your second toe is where various pressure points are uh, that are related to your internal organs in your brain. And he mentions that thong sandals stimulate these points. So the point is, don't forget to wear your thongs. Okay, And I wear mine every day. Okay. <laughs> now, the author suggests that uh, you just, you discover another you or find your inner 
protagonist. So I liken this to uh, <laughs> to Alfred Adler's As If. So if you don't feel confident, act as if you are confident. And you just may start to feel confident. And uh, what I'd recommend is you access Amy Cuddy's uh, TED Talk, which I found inspiring because she really kind of incorporates this idea. And finally, uh, simply immerse yourself. So even if you are at work and you find it boring, immersing yourself will make the time go by more quickly. And in my mind, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, being in the zone or being in the flow as uh, uh, Michaeli Chick sent me a Heggy, if I said his name right, uh, would say. Okay, so that's it for um, part one, and um, I'll do part two a little bit later. And that's it. Thanks.